The tiny two-bedroom house that the Mull family rented wasn't quite upscale enough to be called modest, but it was the finest thing they'd ever had. There was electricity and hot and cold running water, luxuries that had sent Jaria into an explosion of excitement. She'd never dreamed she could live so well, which was an exhibition of perspective that many an American could use as a lesson. Charlie McNeil, the Veterans Administration counselor, had been able to fix Clarence up with a disability pension based on Clarence's PTSD, clearly a byproduct of the war. It was the first time the malls had had a regular income. Charlie also managed to get the family furnishings, kitchenware, and clothing from the Vietnam Vets charity. And finally, the kids had worked with volunteer tutors all summer so that they could enter school in the fall. It turned out that Jaria and Clarence hadn't done too badly with their ad hoc homeschooling. Clinton was a mere two years behind, and Wanda only one.